list of jobs that men should not do. There's a list. There's a, li- there's a list. There's a list of jobs that, that men, men should, should not, not do, do, especially grown ass men. Okay. 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 For one, McDonald's. What? King- what? 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 <laughs> what? <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> McDonald's, bro. That's the grind. McDonald's is the trap, bro. McDonald's is the trap. That's the. I gotta get on my grind. I gotta. I gotta put my head down. Get on my grind. King, Wendy's. Matter of fact, Fa- any fast food, that's the get on the grind. Any fast food restaurant, Look, if you think that you're a grown ass man working in a fast food restaurant is okay, something is wrong with you, all right? Leave those jobs to the teenagers. Bro, like, they go they going to give you one one one. You never know what predicament life will get you, right? So that that is that two. They going to give you the hours. And OT. So you put your head down and you get on that grind at them fast food joints. It could get you back where you need to be. Now it ain't it ain't a job you you work out for forever. It's a temporary job for sure. But when you gotta get on that grind, Mickey D is gonna be calling. I ain't gonna lie. My nephew can't even get a job right now because there's some grown ass men in his damn forties flipping my damn burger. Okay, she let it though. go. Leave it alone. That job is not for you. Anything in retail, okay? I don't want to see no grown ass man handing me a dress, okay? Why are you a grown ass man working at Ross? That makes absolutely no sense, okay? Target, Marshalls, like, guys, give it up. Leave these jobs to the kids. Leave these jobs to the teenagers. These are jobs you get in high school, in college. Okay, I got someone, I got slight. Slightly agree with that because uh one like working I worked in a mall and you ain't getting you ain't getting the hours for real bro you only getting them hours around holiday season so and they not paying the retail not paying as much so I get what she's saying at that sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do but I get what she kind of saying at that though like you ain't unless you have unless that's your second job type type shit. But once you're a grown ass man, you do not need to be working in any fast food restaurant or any retail restaurant. And for you high value men that think that it's high value to work for the city, <laughs> let me tell you something. You're absolutely wrong, all right? No police officers, no firefighters, no construction workers, no mailmen, no. <clears throat> yeah, she had lost her mom, bro. She She lost her mom. Did I say retail restaurant? That's on me. That's on me. That's on me. I'm at retail store. But she lost her mind, though. City jobs is is, is decent. I ain't gonna lie. Decent. No post office. Oh, um, she said that? No, no way. Hold on. A high value man. You're a grown ass man you do not need to be working in any fast food restaurant or any retail restaurant <laughs> oh i didn't even peep that what the fuck is a retail restaurant Are you high value man that think that it's high value to work for i mean bro i'll be fucking up about words so i thought that i said that but what City. she said that. She Let said that you crazy. You're City is wrong, crazy, right? bro. No police officers. She, no she, firefighters. She it. I can't. No construction workers. No mailmen. No post office. Um, if you consider that a high value man, you're absolutely DTB. wrong. Okay, there's nothing Down. high value about making what seventy thousand a for? year. Well, I hope next time her house catch on fire, nobody shows up. Facts. Facts. That's, part, that's why I chuckled oh, okay, okay. <laughs> So she's, she thinks she's the high value. The high value. Mm. So that's what I'm saying, saying bro. She she started she tweaked out on the city jobs, bro. And they got good benefits, so I well, heard. The- so I heard. Wait, what did you just say? Yeah, that's as good as it gets. No, wait, what did you say? I'm gonna have to find a way, bro. No, no, no. Find a way for what? Find a way for what? I'm gonna have to do reverse conversion therapy. For like, what? I'm just gonna have to like dick now, bro. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh, false. <laughs> false. Okay. Good as it gets, bro. Wow, you said Bruh. it twice. Bro, I don't. It's not even gay, bro. I just genuinely, I'll be alone for the rest of my life. This is gonna be. Okay, say that. No troll. No troll. No, no, say that. No troll. I'm being so no, dead I'm ass. Saying, no, I'm saying. <laughs> no, no, no. I get that. You know what's so funny about?
about these on conversations, bro. As tiring as they are, I always tell people she is the minority. I, I just I want I want. She is the minority. That's why I'll be trying to get people to understand too. Extreme rhetoric is the my is minority. And the same way goes for like even on the other side of like Kevin Samuels and all those other people who are like preaching high value stuff. But those are the minority, bro. And I, I I pray and I hope that most of you all don't find some form of like regardless of it's resentment to the opposite sex or resentment to who you're trying to who you're trying to be you know in a relationship with because of like women like this because what i'm starting to see is i, I was talking with my cousin over the holiday right and he will start talking about some same like how much money you gotta make and i'm like nigga you're 17 what are you <laughs> i'm like bro like you don't need to be having no separate conversation you're still trying to worry about yourself like it's not that big of a deal so now when I start to see that's the social media for you, bro. The loudest people like them, like her right here, they're minorities. They're not. They're not most people. Most women date and marry men who make around forty to seventy thousand dollars a year. So when she's sitting here yelling and screaming about how plumbing and construction work and working for the city, though those are not high value type of a job. So those you shouldn't be considering those those type of men or whatever. Or if you're working in real estate, bro, you know I mean people not real estate. I'm sorry, um, retail. How many people work in retail? You know, how many people work in fast food restaurants or just the restaurant industry in general. How many people work um, again for the city and for government government jobs? To sit there and disregard them is crazy. But be very mindful that this is the minority. Do not facts. allow women like her to facts, like, facts, dictate facts, facts, facts. the conversation around. However, it gets worse. You love that woman. Let her go be with a rich man until you get rich. And then just get her back. Oh, this girl is lost. <laughs> oh, she's she's gone. <laughs> she's cooked. <laughs> and I'm asking dancers, okay? Because they've been on the internet tearing me down. Oh, oh she's, she's a... Angry. She a strip. Do not take me to no motherfucking cheesecake factory on no first day. First day is supposed to be an experience, okay? I want an experience. I need ambiance. She's she's one of those. All right, all right. First, first off, Elvis, Elvis. Uh, second of all, second of all, um. I like cheesecake factory. I don't see nothing wrong with that. That's a first date. That's a nice little. Uh, experience uh order the I, me personally i'm gonna order the the chicken tenders um and fries and then we the experience we share is the cheesecake we we select and eat together you know I'll, over a conversation um so i mean first date that's what you're looking for, right? I mean, she's experience, one, right? She's one of them who believe that when you go on a first day, you got to spend a bunch of money, you know, da, da, da. So what she, people were tearing her down because of this. And so what she decided to do was, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go where I can find high value women. That's what I'm going to go find. I'm going to go where I can go find high value women. So what she did is she went she went to the strip club to go find high value women. And this, this is what they had to say. Would you accept Cheesecake Factory for a first date? Hell the fuck no. I would not accept Cheesecake Factory for a first date. Why not? Do I look bro, like a Cheesecake Factory? Bro, they're trolling, bro. Okay. Make a what do you look like? What? I... <laughs> nah, I ain't going to go there. I'm not going to go to a $50 ass restaurant. It's cheap. It's cheap. It's cheap. $50 is cheap. What a cheap bitch. <laughs> Go be T with a cheesecake. Like, know your level. Know your levels. You want a cheesecake favorite type of bitch, you go to Circle K. You go to Walmart. You don't come find a stripper and take her to fucking Cheesecake Factory, baby. Thank you. They be trying to lay me out of comments. They like, oh, bitch, <laughs> uh, you a stripper, you a... Oh my God, this bro. Is, this is sad. It genuinely makes me sad. <laughs> no, higher value people higher value women so that's why i don't believe she's troll i just don't want to believe she's being dead no, that's why i'll be i'll be bro i'll be on the same type of age though bro she gotta be trolling she gotta be trolling because <laughs> it don't make no sense <laughs> don't make again no sense. even if we're gonna they did that or not i want i cannot stress this enough bro these are the minority it is ridiculous to believe that you as a stripper would then constitute you to be a high value anything that makes absolutely no sense at all also your occupation how much money you make is the end all be all to what what is considered to be high value. That is crazy. That is insane. People who believe that ideology will never ever be happy. 
because your whole belief and think piece and the way that you view the world is based off of how much money people make. So as soon as you stop making that type of money, because when you're a stripper at some point, you're not going to be making that type of money anymore. Or anyone in general, if you ever stop making that type of money, that means your whole value as a person goes down the drain. That is crazy. <laughs> the only cheesecake I acknowledge is a cheesecake that I ordered from DoorDash to my motherfucking house, okay? Period. Okay, if I want a little snack, if I want some cool shit, I'll go get cheesecake baby for myself. But you gonna take me out? Cheesecake as a oh my god, oh brother! Shut the fuck up! Cheesecake as a snack, bro. They chatting. They are chatting. They are chatting, bro. They're chatting, bro. I like cheesecake. I'm not knocking cheesecake. I'm not knocking cheesecake. Not the first date. They're chatting. You gotta at least pretend like you got a little motion. Even if you don't really, you gotta at least pretend. Yeah, she 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 child. She for sure child. She's you, for sure, child. Badass tiny. Ooh, let me see. Turn around. Yeah. I'm yeah, getting trolled. Yeah. Okay. I'm getting trolled. That's what's that's that's, that's what's going on. Tiny. I'm getting. She, <laughs> I am getting trolled. I am getting trolled. <laughs> she is troller, bro. She troller. She troller. Bro, you not. You not fucking with fat ass tiny, bro. <laughs> You don't fucking with her, bro? You don't fucking with that ass time, bro? Who's letting a stripper tell us that government jobs are not high value? Is that what we're doing? We're letting, we're letting a stripper dictate what, what's high value, what's not. People shit on your opinion, right? Because it's a shit opinion. There was a, um, there was someone who's reacting to some some content like this where they were saying, like, bro, do y'all, y'all do realize, like, I mean, this is over in the UK. They were, she was saying that they're going into a recession and stuff like that. And how, like, it's so hard to find housing and jobs that pay enough, et cetera, et cetera. So the fact that people are having these conversations is kind of funny. I'm just very serious to y'all. Even as somebody who makes a good amount of money, these conversations are not being had when I'm discussing the opposite sex. Like, they're just not. These are not real conversations that people are having. And if these conversations are being had with you or someone else that you're dating, I would highly suggest to stop dating that person because they are, they're showing you where their values lie. Your values shouldn't lie so much off of where somebody takes you on the first date. On the first date, my nigga, like that's that's where you're you're getting to that point. Even when she sat there and said, "But you better you better off faking it. You ain't got no emotion. You ain't got no emotion. But at least fake it. It's crazy." Uh, to my men out there with money, bro, when they're trying to get the most out of you, when they're trying to like extract more out of you, bro, this is a huge red flag, my guy. This is a huge red flag. That means they might not be genuine. That means that the value they see in you is your money, not you as a person, bro. It's not that hard to find people that give a fuck about you. And then you could help those people authentically, like you with your friends and family. Like you don't have to be asked. You, like don't let people take advantage of your willingness to give when they don't even give a fuck about you, bro. They will pretend to because they see that you could be good for them, but that's about it. It's a business. Then at that point, it's a business relationship. There's nothing genuine or real about it. It's what it is though. I just see too many people get taken advantage of and then boom, those people begin to get really sour. They start to think people are evil because they bump into people like her that just try and get the most out of a situation nah, if you genuinely real. believe going to cheesecake factory means that you are valued less you're deranged you're genuinely fucking deranged the whole point of dating is to get to know people uh, and this goes to both men and women like bro stop allowing these people on the internet with loud voices to dictate your perception of how dating works like just i'm stop. glad they said that I, for I, sure. I'll, I'll go on i'll even go on facebook from time to time and i'll see that shit see not real bro like complaining about some shit that they never have just like on a regular day to day to day a day to day girl like there's somebody that you talk to regularly bro i promise you they're not thinking the same way like and if they are like they single for a reason <laughs> like the average female is not thinking like that. One is trying to run around and take half of your money. Like no one's doing <clears> that, bro. <throat> or you you don't look that good for somebody to be overtly trying to use you for your sexual attraction or whatever. Like it, these are not concepts or things that you have to really be that concerned with. Or you're there's not a man out there with half a million dollars who's just trying to use you and think that because his money is making you know what I'm saying? Like all those things aren't really a part of your life. Most of y'all don't run into these type of people. Most of y'all date average, y'all round average people, and that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that, bro. Absolutely not. You have characteristic traits and flaws that you yep. can present to someone else that makes their life better. That's what you should do. But this whole concept of like money, 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 and then determining how valuable somebody is based off of money is crazy, bro. That's crazy. And also, just don't become cool, depressed bro. by that at all. So, man. You said what? Yeah, that's cool. Hell yeah. What should I go with these? 
Damn. You know how I you know how I am. Damn. Hey, so what's up to get, the show, bro? Bob went get one, man. <laughs> <laughs>